Hey down please, it's Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into another Blackpink moment here. I have a story with a Twitch streamer insulting Blackpink. I definitely have some thoughts and opinions on this, I want to get into it. Obviously Blinks were mad, it was a whole thing. I also want to get into the possibility of Blackpink splitting into two, with Jenny and Lisa together. I'll get into that, I'll get into the theories. So let's jump into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now the first thing let's get into is what happened over on Twitch. Now I don't know if this was actually streamed on Twitch and this is where it was found or if she was using a different site or what it was, but let me give you some backstory, let me give you some context. Just call me the CEO of context because I got it for you. So Blackpink has been around for a long time. They have created so much music over the years. Well, unfortunately that's not true. But honestly, they only debuted in 2016, so it really hasn't been that long. And they're already so popular, even though they have like negative 3,000 songs out or something like that. Like a lot of groups take way longer with way more songs to get more popular. And a lot of their popularity is due to their individual skills, i.e. Lisa has gone viral so many times for her dancing. Members are also very, very talented in singing and rapping and all that other stuff. Each one of their voices is very strong. And of course, they're all super beautiful. They always go viral on the pictures they put on Instagram. We are talking about a group where every single member in that group can be considered traditionally attractive and can be mistaken for the visual, depending on your preferences. But Blackpink doesn't get much freedom in anything that they do. Jisoo has talked about this before, and they definitely don't get much say in the artistic direction that they decide to go in. Why am I saying all of this? It's relevant, I promise. So recently there was a Twitch streamer, I believe she's an artist, there was a little clip of her floating around talking about Blackpink and you can kind of see the little cute characters that she was drawing, or that was pulled up. I don't want to say her name or kind of link her in any way because I don't want to send more hate her way. However, she talks about how she doesn't like Blackpink and Blackpink isn't very good. Now that's an opinion and that's totally fine to have. I don't have an issue inherently with that opinion. Some people's music just doesn't speak to you. That is okay. But first off, on behalf of some blinks, I am a blink and I would like to apologize for that. No one should be attacked for their opinion or feel like this is what K-pop is. If they choose to dislike a group or dislike something they shouldn't be attacked for it, I definitely just want to get that out of the way. For example, if I do say Justin Bieber isn't great and blah 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 blah, a lot of people probably wouldn't attack me for it, they would respect my opinion. However, I do like Justin Bieber. So it should be the same way with K-pop too. Now let me get into exactly what she said and what this was about. So this is about the gist of what she said. Blackpink is actually not good though. They literally just regurgitate the same EDM trash over and over and people are like, oh my god, they're so beautiful, they're so great, look at them. Yeah, and then what? Yeah, they're really popular, but quality-wise, they're not great. She continues to talk about Blackpink and how they've fallen off and all that stuff. Now, I don't know if you've meant fallen off as if that's not your type of music anymore, and it used to be, but maybe not anymore. Or you're talking about in terms of popularity, they've fallen off. In which case, no, I don't believe they have. The last few comebacks, I think they've broken records this year. Now, this isn't like a beautifully nice statement, per se, but there's nothing wrong with an opinion. She's not insulting the girls here. She's not saying anything like that. She's just saying this is not her thing. And the Twitch streamer just feels like it's the same music over and over again. Now, I don't agree with this. I don't think it's the same music over and over again. Ice Cream to me definitely wasn't EDM, I don't think. And some of their slower ballads that they have aren't EDM either. Also, Blackpink has covers out that aren't EDM either. But again, that's my opinion. You're allowed to have yours. But I do think EDM goes with Blackpink's brand. They try to portray this like tough but feminine brand and I'll get more into that later. They try to portray this like tough and feminine brand and I'll get more into that later. So EDM kind of just fits for them and it's also still very popular right now. So of course YG is going to make them do it. Also most of K-pop right now is like EDM because it's the easiest song to do choreography to. So do I personally think it's bad? No. Now the streamer also then went on Twitter to kind of share some of the DMs that she was receiving. Now I don't agree with her opinion but those DMs are disgusting. Like going into someone's DMs and not responding with any actual reason, just completely going ahead and insulting them for not liking something that you like, that is not going to get the Twitch streamer to change your mind. I don't understand the reason of calling someone stupid and then suddenly expecting them to change their ways. Are they supposed to be scared? The 90,000 death threats I've received, just do it already. I don't, like, what do you want me to say? One day I was called an idiot and now I'm a changed man. Now she then continued to go on Twitter. Now this I don't necessarily agree with. I saw these tweets floating around online where she said, Black oink, more like black poop. Now she did correct herself in the first half by not meaning to say black oink and that was a typo and it meant to be black pink. But this is where I'm a little upset. Not that she corrected black oink, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm upset because black pink has done nothing to you personally. I can respect your opinion. 
But imagine the girls kind of reading black poop and people calling them black poop. It's one thing to hate the fandom. So then say something about blinks, call them boinks or something. But don't attack the girls themselves. They have done nothing wrong themselves. You can't blame a celebrity for stuff that their fans have done. They don't have that many comebacks to begin with. Not that a few words from anybody is going to stop them from dropping another album or a single. But it's just that their struggle has been hard enough. They don't need like more. They have a label that used to constantly forget them. And in general, there's just no reason to be mean. People are being mean to you. Don't be mean back to other people. Do I agree with Blinks attacking you? No. Cut it out. Stop it right now. No one should be getting death threats. And no one should be called names. And no one should be insulted. I also don't understand why the streamer is even responding. I don't respond back to people calling me stupid. There's tons of those. Although lately I've been responding to people calling me a liar. Because if you take away my voice, I literally have nothing. The channel's literally me talking. But anyway, stop responding to the Blinks death threats or their hate comments. And don't insult people, it's mean. The Blackpink girls in general, they seem so nice. Don't call them poop. Call me poop. I love being poop. It's not worth the headache and quite honestly, it's not good for the soul. Now, Blackpink hasn't been in the news recently until honestly, all of this. They haven't really put anything out since Lovesick Girls. Or was it Lovesick Girls and then Ice Cream? No, I think Lovesick Girls was last. Dude, if your memory still works even after quarantine, you've been quarantining wrong. Go back inside of the house and mess your memory up first. But people are hoping that maybe the next comeback, Blackpink will do a little something something different. A little unexpected maybe. But now we're kind of expecting it, so. But some of us were hoping maybe a subunit would happen. Which is totally possible. A very popular theory that floats around. I don't know if YG has confirmed this or not, but Jisoo and Rosé are supposed to represent the pink part of Blackpink. They're feminine, they're all that. And Jenny and Lisa are supposed to represent the black part of Blackpink. They're more like aggressive and all that. So with that said, Blinks are really wanting for the next album or the next mixtape or whatever it is to have subunit songs in there where it's just like Lisa and Jenny. And likely the songs will sound pretty iconic. Jenny's voice is powerful and Lisa has an amazing rap to her voice. It has an amazing rap voice. Also Lisa's dancing skills, oh my god. But I was reading tweets on the Twitter that said this, Jenny x Lisa subunit when? Please, we want their subunit. It's time for Blackpink to have another side project at YG. Right? <gasps> like this will be so perfect for them to put together. I would love to see more side projects like this. To maybe have a mixtape of Lisa and Jenny, have Rosé and Jisoo separate, split. They of course can play up the whole black and pink thing. Very cute. There are people who theorize that this is likely for this to happen just because of how YG has trained them in the past. Some were saying, they've been paired since trainee days. YG saw their potential in chemistry plus YG is into rappers, ex rappers subunit. So there's a high possibility for them. This is true and I do hope for this to happen, but we can't necessarily take into consideration what YG has done before, what he's done a couple years ago or whatever. Cause I do believe allegedly I read somewhere that the old CEO has stepped down. So this CEO might have a different vision vision for Blackpink. And maybe they don't see a subunit happening that would make me sad. But if we keep tweeting and we keep requesting, they definitely might. So let's keep that going. Let's keep the same energy. Wow, imagine my two wives making a song together. They can sing about how much they love me, how they're in love with a trash can, how we're all very much, of course, married. They can start out the song with, if you doubt me and Dave are married, I'm gonna kick you in the face. Okay, okay, it's my fantasy, right? I'm allowed to have it even though it's a little crazy. Y'all knew what you were getting into when you clicked my video. Don't act surprised. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your cause. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of exclusive content over there that I can't really post on here. This is copyrighted material or things that will get taken down and all that stuff. So I do keep it over there on my Patreon if you would like to check it out. Link is in the top of the description down below. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that stuff over there. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel and all that stuff. I have a video over there explaining that. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those videos. I'll see you over there. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.